It's not often that uh, one boat is the main character in a film. But we want to do exactly that. We want to make a film about a boat. But this is not just a boat. This is the boat of Croatia. A boat called Marina, which has which is probably been the most famous and most popular uh, boat in our history. Uh, when you walk, when you talk to people in Croatia, I mean, you can be almost sure that everybody who is older than 30 will know about which boat we talk. And luckily, although Marina was sent in pension uh, around circa 10 years ago, Marina is still alive. But now she's, she cannot sail anymore, but now it's uh, Marina, it's uh, is a hotel or botel. So hotel or a hostel on the sea in the town of Rijeka, in the harbor of Rijeka. So uh, Marina is there and uh, ready to, to be filmed one more time because Marina was really, really in a good uh, relations with media. Journalists adored Marina. So in that way, we can also find lots of materials in archives of uh, newspapers and television archives, both here and in Denmark and in Sweden, which we also plan to, to use in the movie. But what is, will be most interesting and most precious for us in the movie is actually testaments of the people who were uh, working on marina, sailing on marina, living in the towns or in the harbors, which was important on marina's tour, tours. Uh, and marina passed really a lot in the in this almost 100 years of of, of her life. I will also use uh, her, not it. And uh, for example, uh, marina. Uh, start as uh, uh, Mar Mar Marina was born in Denmark and it was baptized by a uh, princess of Sweden who was just married to the crown prince of Denmark and the future queen of Denmark actually, uh, Princess Ingrid. And that's why Marina's first name was actually Ingrid. It was changed in Marina in 50s in Sweden. and. What Marina was doing there in Sweden in the 50s, that's also interesting. Marina was one of those drinking boats. You, you heard, I'm sure you heard about these boats where Swedes like to go and dance and drink and have a lot of fun. But on one of these drinking nights, uh, Marina also had some accident. And so Swedes didn't want her anymore. They thought it's okay, now she's too old. But luckily, we in Croatia or Yugoslavia at that time, we didn't think Mari, uh, Marina is too old, so we bought it and we were very happy and uh, we were sailing with Marina for many, many more years. Although they, uh, they wanted to send her to pension a few times, but Marina always overlived and stay in the job because people simply didn't want Marina to stop. They, they didn't want to stop to sail and sailing. Sail, and you can still hear that actually, oh, you know, now we have faster boats and bigger boats and everything, but people are still sad that Marina is not sailing anymore. So, uh, yes, we really would like to tell this story visually, uh, bring Marina in life one more time, and uh, kept one uh, moment of the European history actually in, in this movie. So uh, we hope you will also like Andia and uh, help us to bring that project in life.